Hey everybody, Phil Carute here. Welcome to Comedy Cigars and Music, and today's cigar for review is the Rojas Statement Maduro. Off the foot and wrapper, I'm getting cocoa, prune, hay, barnyard, and cream. There's the band. Very simple. Cool. You might say that it makes a subtle statement. Sorry, that was a terrible pun. Okay, last smoke here. Starting off this cigar. Cocoa, earth, sweetness in there, some cream, and a little bit of spice. The draw and smoke output have been absolutely excellent. No issues with those. The burn looks like it's starting out very well right now. On the retro hail, we have some spice and earth. On the finish, we have some cocoa, cream, coffee, and spice. And that spice is heavy. There's a lot of spice there, all over the mouth. Components of this cigar, Mexican San Andres wrapper, the binders from Nicaragua, and the fillers are also from Nicaragua. And this cigar is one of the creations from Noel Rojas. Um, he has also worked with Stolen Throne Cigars, Ezra Zion, Nomad Cigars, uh, Ohana, and others. So he's got an idea what he's doing. All right, we are well into the first third here. Tons of smoke. Uh, let me show you that burning ash, and I'm gonna tap the ash off here so I don't embarrass myself. Beautiful burning ash. Smoke just pouring off of this cigar. Holy crap. Okay, so flavor-wise in the first third here, earth, cocoa, and cream. Very good. It's actually leaving a little bit of creaminess here on the palate, the tongue, top of the mouth. Very good. On the retro hell, getting some earth, coffee, and leather. On the finish, some coffee, leather, a little bit of spice, just enough in there to kind of tie it all together. And if you guys have watched reviews of mine before, you know that I kind of like that just little bit of spice. It kind of helps everything come together, kind of bring some stuff out. So that's good. And it is just slightly creamy. So that spice at the beginning was, I would say, almost borderline overwhelming. That's all mellowed out a little bit. That's not really uncommon. Um, a lot of times when you get a lot of spice at the beginning, it tends to mellow out. So I don't know how many cigars I've had, probably countless cigars I've had where that spice hits you right at the beginning and then it starts mellowing out a little bit. So not very uncommon for me anyway. And the draw, smoke output, burn have been excellent throughout the whole first third, not an issue to speak of. All right, get that smoke out of here. Tons of smoke still. Finishing up the second third here. Fruit, mocha, earth <clears throat> is what we kind of start out with. Now, as I'm blowing that smoke out, that chocolate in the mocha there kind of fades and then it just becomes this coffee, okay? And then as everything is going out, you get this nice little kick of cream in there. Very good. On the retro hail, getting this mocha and very nice nuttiness. So the smoke kind of starts out in the retro hail, and then as the smoke is going out, you get this nice little nuttiness right at the end there. On the finish, mocha, fruit, and cream. So probably not a big surprise here, but the draw and smoke output have remained to be excellent. The burn, so I thought I was gonna have one issue because right at the top of the burn line, this crack started and kind of went uh, diagonal a little bit. I looked down a minute later, and not only had the burn corrected itself, it had burned right through that crack with no issues. It was like Arnold Schwarzenegger had come in from like the Terminator and taken care of it or something. The potential burn issue and the crack have been terminated. Hasta la vista, baby. All right, we are finishing up the cigar here. Flavor-wise, earth, coffee, mineral, fruit, and dark chocolate. On the retro hill, earth, coffee, and chocolate. And then on the finish, leather, coffee, and dark chocolate. And in that finish, it goes through all three of those separately, okay? So very distinguishable in there for me. It starts out with this leather. As that kind of fades away, it turns into this coffee. And then as that completely fades out, you have this nice dark chocolate at the end just finishing it out. Very good. The burn and ash for this cigar were excellent throughout, including the final third here, so no issues with that. Nice. Rating this cigar, I would give this cigar a three and a quarter out of four. This cigar was as impressive as 
your clothes, your boots, and your motorcycle. Draw and smoke output for this cigar were excellent throughout. Great cigar. Smoke time for this cigar came out to an hour and 16 minutes. As always guys, thanks for joining us. If you enjoyed this review, enjoyed other videos, other reviews, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Make sure to leave all your questions and comments below. I'll get to them as they come along. Always enjoy chatting with you guys. Until next time guys, be cool to each other. Don't be a dillweed. Take in some Arnold movies and uh, I'll be back. Oh, Yeah, the news and the news and the company.